what's going on everybody so we are back with tops midnight we got two boxes they're they're kind of funny because they're so small but one pack seven cards pretty exclusive hobby if you look in the top corner it's hobby only product so this product is only available in the hobby variant um as you can see we got blasters as well so there's gonna be more that come in the future this video might be relatively shorter because it's only two packs so pretty nervous um seen a bunch of videos online already about the product i kind of don't know how to feel about it yet so i'm kind of going into this with an open mind because of uh, what i've seen so far so we're gonna just jump right into this i'm gonna try to not have to rip the packaging too often because i kind of like the way it looks and i want to try to preserve it so i'm going to see if i can use man strength to get these things out so all right we're gonna jump right into it That was a success. Keep these in tech. First back. <clears throat> First card, Brad Katona rookie card, two time contender series winner. Very nice card, midnight rookie card. Well, first auto. First auto is Chael P. Sonnen, two of 25. That's actually really good, especially for Chael Sonnen. Love the auto. <clears throat> Next one is a Stroke of Midnight. Bam Bam. Tuivasa. Not gonna lie, there's a big streak down the side of it. Uh, recently lost to Marcin Tybura, but might be back. We'll see. Next one, it's thicker, so I think this was a patch auto. It is a patch auto of Colby Chaos Covington. One of the fighters I really wish I didn't get, but it's fine. Colby Covington. I've got thieves looking, thieve, thie sleeves thick enough for him. All right, getting into our inserts. Here we got Luana Carolina. The Midnight Rookie Card, numbered 125. It's 107 and 125. <clears throat> not bad of a hit. Well, Carolina is not the best, but still. It's all right. Cameron Simon, 75. Look, Cameron Simon is decent. But they have him in the set, but they don't have 
Christian Rodriguez or Peyton Talbot. So I understand they don't have Peyton Talbot because I think it was only the beginning of this year when Cameron Simon lost to him. But Christian Rodriguez beat him last year. I'm pretty sure. It's either last year or the end of last year or uh, the beginning of this year. But still, I feel like Christian Rodriguez should have been in here in the set. And then we got a Luna. Luna tide, lunar tide of Cyril Bong Gammon game. Gone. Oh my god, I can't believe I said that. Alright. That was the first pack. First pack. Pretty exciting. Um, Nothing like super extravagant, but it's pretty decent stuff still. So, pretty good. I'm actually glad we just got numbered autos because I have seen a bunch of breaks where people do not get numbered autos for a couple packs. So, pretty good. Very excited about it. Starting us off with a moonfall of Zhang Weili. Beautiful. I don't know if moonfall is a SSP. I'm not sure. But it is a really nice card. I do like the moonfalls. place jdm let's go jack della it's always a good draw jack della madalena amazing such a great pull oh, i'm struggling Second auto. Marab de Valshvili. Let's go. Stroke of Midnight. Always a good one, too. He's definitely going to be fighting for the belt soon. If not, taking the belt. We got Neil Magny, the Haitian sensation. Thirteen to twenty-five. Last auto. Still a one-numbered card. But I would have liked it if it wasn't Neil Magny. All right, now we got the one and the one and only Valentina Bullet Shevchenko. <clears throat> That's a beautiful card. Second to last is Charles Oliveira and Tony Ferguson on Midnight Constellation. These cards kind of puzzle me on what the purpose behind them are. Because they have rivals, they have teammates, and they also have, like, rival teammates and then brothers. So it's kind of, I don't know, it's real puzzling. But <clears throat> the last card of the rip is <laughs> are you kidding me? a constellation Taffa <clears throat> Taffa Brothers two of five two of five so pretty happy pretty happy we got a number to five card but it's of the Taffas <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong they're bangers they are willing to brawl so i'm definitely a fan of both of them so i just wish like we get more of them soon so 
two of five, not bad. I do like that. Even if it is of the toughest. All right. <clears throat> That's uh, two boxes of Midnight. We got some pretty good autos. The only gripe I would probably have about Tops Midnight is the list of fighters. Because, like, they have Montserrat and they don't have Tracy Cortez in this set. And I don't understand that. There's no Tracy Cortez in this set. Christian Rodriguez isn't in the set. Uh, Steve Ursig isn't in the set. A lot of the people that are in the top 10 of pretty much all, each weight class is, like, not in the set. And they have, like, rookies that have been out of the UFC for the longest time. I'm I'm pretty sure it's because, you know, they send out the stickers, they have the the autographs, they have to produce the cards, they're in the set, all this other stuff. But it's like, do they not have people that are vetting the like the up and coming of like who's like who really is up and coming and who isn't? So, you know, I feel like there's just a lot of questions. But I'm very happy with the designs. The designs, oh, some of them you know, Stroke of Midnight's, uh, I don't think I got any of the Star Walker, where are they, I can't remember, it's like the Star, Moonfalls, or, no, not Moonfall, it's like Star Walks or whatever, the ones that look like Stranger Things, so, but pretty good overall, um, yeah, and we've got more blasters in, and there's just more stuff coming, so just keep an eye out. I probably will not buy more Midnight because of the price range, the set, the class of fighters they have aren't my particularly favorite ones. Um, so, but it's not needless to say, if you're into it, definitely get it. But I probably won't buy it anymore. So, all right, this is uh, my Midnight. UFC 2024. All right. Keep uh, keeping out for the next one, and uh, see you guys in the next one.